Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisperiPair.com. In this video we'll show you a very simple and effective way to get mice out of your car. This is a very nasty problem and one that can cause some serious and costly damage to your car. So stay tuned. DisperiPair.com be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. If you're interested in how to keep animals out of the engine bay, take a look at our other video dedicated specifically to this topic. Click on the link in the corner of the video or on the link in the description. The method we're going to show you involves a simple plastic mouse trap. The alternatives to this are things like metal mouse traps, glue for mice, glue boards, or even mice poison. Well, all of these are also very efficient, but they may damage your car interior in some way, glue especially, or might not be that safe to use inside the passenger cabin, like using mouse poison for instance. On the other hand, this type of plastic mouse trap is simple to use, very efficient, and can be used numerous times without causing any danger or damage. We'll just briefly mention how to definitely recognize that you have a mouse in your car. Certain signs of this problem are a foul smell inside the passenger cabin or the smell coming from the ventilation system. Also, you may encounter mouse droppings around the passenger cabin. Besides this, you may notice around the engine bay traces of mouse nibblings, straws, droppings and else as this is the most common path through which the mouse enter the car. One more way you can notice this problem is to sit still inside the passenger cabin, turn everything off, be quiet for a couple of minutes and wait. If you hear a scratching sound that sort of moves around, you probably have a mouse in the car. The moment you notice any of these signs, react immediately otherwise the mouse or mice will tend to build a nest and will start causing problems. With this method, obviously the only thing you have to do is to set the trap. Before this, make sure to remove any leftover food, crumbs, food paper wrappings or other things around the car that may lure the mouse away from the trap. This way, catching it will be much easier. Next, choose a good place to set the trap, preferably one that has a lot of space around it to prevent any possible damage. Sometimes the mouse gets caught partially and tends to move around the car together with the trap. Best avoid setting the trap in places like the seats or the dashboard for instance as they can get accidentally damaged. Our recommendation are the footwells, they are a perfect place for setting the trap. Also, we would recommend putting a rubber mat under the mouse trap if you don't have one already. Next, spring the trap. With these traps it's simple, just spread the jaws and put it on the floor. Make sure to always hold the trap by the rear handles so it doesn't accidentally spring on your fingers. These traps have a bait already on them. For multiple usage of the traps, you can glue some bait on it and successfully use it again. And that's that. Once you've sprung the trap, close the doors and leave the car for at least an hour. If you can, even better, leave the car overnight. You can also set the trap in the engine bay, just make sure to find a safe place so you don't damage the surroundings. In the morning, you should get a result like this. Yes, this may be a sad sight, but remember that rodents, mice, rats and else are among the leading pests regarding the damage they cause and for spreading disease. From personal experience, this method works every time. You can set multiple traps, two or three in the footwells if you want to be extra sure that you'll catch the mouse. It must be said that, as with every car problem, you must react on time. Otherwise, if the mouse builds a nest inside your car, it will start to destroy the surroundings, make a huge mess, or in worst cases, do things like nibble the electric installation, which is a common case. This can then lead to very expensive repairs, not to mention the hygiene and health aspect of it all. For the end, another measure is to employ these fellas to help and prevent the problem for you. So that's it for this time, we hope the video helps, 
please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.